Yo, what is up, Michael and boys and girls? Chandler here. Welcome back to another Beyblade video, and we are doing a video on the brand new Zest Achilles. So Achilles finally getting an evolution in the DB's layer system, which is now the BU layer system. And it's great to see another protagonist bay getting its final evolution. Achilles was a, is still, to this day, a fan favorite, and seeing it get a brand new evolution is exciting for a lot of people. I'm not personally. I'm like, eh, it's another Achilles. But Achilles has gone through so many evolutions over the time. We've had normal Z Achilles. We've had an upgrade for Z Achilles, which has a level chip and extend plus. We've had show Z Achilles, uh, Union Achilles, and Infinite Achilles. And so all of this has led up to this final Achilles. So let's talk about it. So let's take her apart. We'll talk about the new parts, and then we'll talk about what else you get with this Beyblade in this set. Basically, let's start off with the armor because it's kind of the less the lesser part of the bay, which is four, which is a brand new armor which we don't really see every day. This basically has a little bit of outward weight on it, if you can't see that. Really, really cool part. Um, I like the shape of it. I like the design of it. It's just kind of bland, but I feel like it works well for Achilles. Next we have is, an elite, is the illegal disc, which is basically wheel and outer mixed with over, which is kind of scary. However, I don't think this disc will be banned because, well, it's stamina. everything has such high stamina in the game nowadays, it's really hard to get that much higher. Next up we have is, uh, also, this is smooth, it has good LED. Uh, next we have is the Quattro Dash Driver, which has four modes. It has Unite for Balance, Wedge for Stamina, Extreme for Attack, and Orbit Metal for defense, and I'm pretty sure we're not even focused on it. I don't even know. I don't care about my camera focus. Next up we have is the Achilles Core. The Achilles Core basically is dual spin, and it's got a very, very nifty design. The shield from Z, it's really, really cool. It's like all the Achilles kind of combined into one, and it works really, really well. Also, it has different teeth from Spriggan, so that's kind of cool. Lastly, we have Zest. I'm gonna zoom in for this one because I think we need to... All right, hang on. There we go. So Zest. So basically, we have this attachment piece, very similar to that of the Union Swords. And, of course, this is dual spin, so you can basically flip it to change its rotation. So it has four modes. It has right spin attack, and then right spin defense, and then we flip it over. We have right, we have left spin defense, and then we have left spin attack. So very, very cool, very, very, like, just a lot of combinations of gimmicks, really, really fun. So other than that, I think for this video, we're just going to leave it in the right spin attack mode. I think in later videos, I may do a video where I just do a battles with all, all the other modes and try to do, like, 48 rounds, which might be a live stream or something. I haven't live streamed in a while. I wonder how many people would actually show up to that. But it's really, really cool. Very, very nifty. Um, but yeah, super duper cool. So also, other than that released in the set, we had a Chain Phoenix Fortress Never Metal Never with uh, two armor. I'm going to use this Phoenix Core for something like everyone else who has bought in this Beyblade. Bought or just bought this Beyblade? Why is the English language have to be so difficult? Why is the English language... Oh my god, my grammar is awful today. Let's go! And then we also get a hollow Ragnarok, which is kind of cool. Just no new parts, nothing really that exciting about this one, except hollow being pretty... used to be... Hollow used to be pretty good. So, I'm gonna do a test launch with these two bays, um, and then we'll do some battles. So, let's just launch Achilles. Super duper stable. All right. Next we'll do Chain Phoenix. And we'll do a battle with these two as well. It's just gonna stay in the middle. So Chain Phoenix will go in first. And here comes the kill. Super nice that you get a Phoenix and Achilles in the set. Strong attacks from both bays, or at least decent ones. 
I think Achilles is going to get this. So, now let's do some battles. So let's start off with, of course, a Valkyrie. Because, you know, Achilles v. Valkyrie, always fun. I don't know why I launched Savior in first. I'm two rounds each for each day I do. And I just missed the stadium entirely. So, I guess that means we get to launch Achilles in first. Alright, and I'm going to keep it in right, spin in right spin attack because, like I said, I just want to do an entire video where I just go over the modes. And I personally think that this will be a little more enjoyable. Valkyrie hits the wall. And I know I'm not busting out the DB Stadium for this video. I usually will bust it out for battle videos. I did bust it out for Xiphoid, but I feel like the BO9 is where we're going to keep it for the time being. Excellent. Alright. We'll do... Let's do Ultimate Valkyrie next, because why not? I'll actually do a couple... I'll do, like, one... I'll do a couple battles in left as well. Ultimate's just going absolutely crazy. Not enough stamina to actually outspin it. Alright. I think I forgot to talk about Eddie Deer, but I'll, I'll bring that up in a bit. Um, Gatling. Gatling gets the Oh wait, I have to do two rounds with ultimate. Uh, shoot. Whatever, I'll do one last battle with ultimate at the end of the video. That late. Super tiny hits. Here goes Gatling charging up. Ooh, Gatling's got it destabilized. Anyway, I am going to take this time to talk about the A-Gear. So A-Gear basically allows uh, Divine, and it's only compatible with the Divine, to go between an attack and a defense mode. I'm not going to show that off in this video that much. But when all the gears come out, I'll do a very in-depth video talking about how all of these gears compare to their last counterparts being um, F, S, V, and L. So we'll do a battle between these two with all their gears. I also have a V-Gear on my Divine because I don't like using Adventure normally. Achilles just fired off like a missile. No, thank you. Okay, well, I'm gonna do one more because, frankly, these hits are just absolutely crazy. Achilles just like calm down for like two seconds. Thank you. Now you guys can go crazy. And now it's boring. All right, let me grab my next and uh, the next few bays I'm gonna use. I'm not gonna use that many more for this video. I'm gonna use about five more. Yeah. Okay. So next up we have, of course, Zyphoid, the last release from it. How do we do against? Well, that's boring. Sorry if my stadium's been moving out of this shot. I really, I've been like annoyed with my camera and as well as my new hardwood floors that I got when I moved. Okay, next battle is going to be against Chain Kirbyus. I gotta do two battles with Xiphoid, I forgot. Chain Kirbyus will be up next, though. Okay, Achilles is in the center. And here comes Xiphoid. Ooh! Hello? Damn, I have actually... 
actually, that's the first time I think I have seen Xiphoid burst. Actually, scratch that. The Xiphoid video, it burst. I'm pretty sure. Against Longinus. But, man! That's some power there. I'll end that off there with that battle. That was nuts. Double bursts are always some of the sa most satisfying stuff to me. Especially those kinds. Alright, we're against Kerbius, so it's gonna be a pretty calm battle. God, the colors between Kerbius and uh, Achilles are just absolutely awesome. All of these DB bays have been really just impressive with their colors. Like, DB and BU releases always have just some pretty colors. Are we gonna outspin Kerbius, or is Kerbius gonna outspin us? We're in right spin. Okay, so, I said I was gonna stick with right spin. I'm gonna go into left spin defense mode, and we are going to basically do some, we're gonna do battles against the left spin bays now. Because I feel like, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like doing this. Uh, what's the time at? We're at 11 minutes. I'm already late to where I have to be, but I don't really care. It's in the name of content, my friends. It's in the name of content. All right. Left spin defense mode. And so the bays I have lined up for it, I said five more battles. I think I'm going to do a couple more. So we have, we'll do Astral, L Longinus, uh, Fafnir, and Bahamut. So we'll do all, basically all of our left spins. And you may notice I have not done a battle against Phoenix yet. That's going to be an entirely another video. So let's get started. So let's start off with Bahamut. I'll do one, I'll do Lightning Rise with these guys. <laughs> I can't control, I can't control this driver. Strong hits from Achilles though, like... You can hear those like loud hits. Okay. Next up is against... Friggin, basically two bays on the same combo. Achilles burst first. I need to go grab those parts. Damn. This bay's got tons and tons of recoil. It's actually kind of nuts. I'm actually super stoked about this release. Man, I never was going to expect that this Achilles was going to have, like, insane recoil, but here we are. Okay. That almost unlocked the rotation change. Damn. Super strong hits. All right, I think we got, we'll do, we'll do Fafnir next. I'm doing one of one each for these plus spins because I want to get through them. Oh my god, I thought Achilles was gonna go on the attack and kill itself. Achilles has got some insane stamina too. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Like it's actually got some really good stamina. And I think Fafnir is done. You done hit the bricks, pal, you done. Hit the bricks, pal. Thank you. All right, and I think last but not most certainly not least, let's do guilty. Achilles, can you match guilty? Let's go, let's find out. Find out next time on Total Drama Island. close were we? We were one click away from bursting, and Longinus was also... Longinus got no clicks, man. Alright, well that's my video on the brand new Achilles. 
Um, super stoked about this bay. Going to see a lot of battles of it in the future. I'm certain of it because this is going to be a really highly requested bay to see battle, I'm sure. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all had an awesome day. So stay safe, stay awesome, and Beyblade.